Carolina. unfolding of this program until a later date. Sunday morning about 3 o'clock, somebody blew bombs inside of my house. I said Sunday morning about 3 o'clock, somebody blew bombs inside of my house. Normally, I wouldn't get overexcited about a few bombs. But the other ones who blew these bombs, not only aimed at them in the rooms where I was there, where no one was there, but even in the rooms where my three daughters were asleep. When my three daughters were asleep, when my three daughters were asleep, hey, I can't quite bring myself to the point where I can be merciful from compromising toward anyone who would stoop that low. Especially when I heard on the news today that Joseph, a brother that I found in the garbage can in Detroit in 1952, that's where I found him, made the statement that I had bombed my house. Now you see, this doesn't surprise me, because I know that since many of us left the amusement movement, the intelligence and its morals have gone corrupt. Both its intelligence and its morals have gone corrupt. And now they are using the same tactics used by the Ku Klux Klan. When the Klan bombs your church, they say you did it. When they bomb the synagogue, they say the Jews bombed their own synagogue. This is a clan tactic. And to me, I'll tell you, la, la, the black Muslim la, movement is la, 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 la. I said, la, 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 la. Well, ain't you heard of me word about? I'm the nigga that was down in the dirt of South. I'm the one on the mic trying to work it out. And y'all got your arm crowd trying to doubt. It don't matter when I'm fatter on the mic or not. Everybody's never when we doing it right. And y'all two boys know I'm feeling it right. With your black gold hoodie, look at your goody goody. Really don't matter with your big red hat. Look at me, girl. Everybody know I start rocking your world. It's the telekinetic and energetic. I said it, you get beheaded. I read it, I put it in the middle. The umbilical, physical, typical, original form coming out your college door. I am not of the norm. Telekinetic and energetic. I said it, you get beheaded. I read it, I put it in the middle. The umbilical, physical, typical, original form coming out your college door. Tell them I show them all. In the fields, see me in the woods, singing these songs. Cotton in the fields, see me in the woods, singing these songs. Cotton in the fields, see me in the woods, singing these songs. Cotton in the fields, and the niggas ain't picking. Meet me in the woods, move, move with the chicken. Singing these songs, we'll kick you out of kitchen. No more cotton in the Cotton in the fields, see me in the woods, singing these songs. Cotton in the fields, see me in the woods, singing these songs. Cotton in the fields, and the niggas ain't picking.
ago when we started the Black Panther Party in San Francisco at the headquarters. All day long we broadcasted the words of Malcolm X. He was the one who taught me or got, encouraged me to read and to learn and to find out what was really going on in this country. You and Bobby gave me a vehicle to be able to do it and I'm proud to be here to represent uh, the Black Panther Party, the SFA, and to say uh, uh, my love and respect for Malcolm X. Thank you. You don't have a revolution in which you love your enemy. You don't have a revolution in which you are begging the system of exploitation to integrate you into it. Revolutions overturn systems. Revolutions destroy systems. A revolution is bloody. But America is in a unique position. She's the only country in history actually in a position to become involved in a bloodless revolution. The Chinese revolution was bloody. The Russian revolution was bloody. The Cuban revolution was bloody and there was nothing more bloody than the American Revolution. But today, this country can become involved in a revolution that won't take bloodshed.